So in this problem, we're told to sketch the region enclosed by the given curves and then find its area. So this is going to be number 13, and we're given that y equals 12 minus x squared and y equals x squared minus 6. So these are our two functions. And I went ahead and uh, graphed it here on Desmos, and you could probably graph it on your graphing calculator. And so we can see that we're trying to find the area between these two curves here. And uh, these, inflection, or these points where uh, our functions meet are going to be our upper and lower bounds. So in this case, this is going to be minus 3, and this is going to be 3. But you're not always going to have a graphing calculator in order to find these two points, because uh, these points are basically our upper and lower bounds for our integral, which is uh, minus 3 and 3. So I'm going to show you how to find them if uh, you don't have a graphing calculator or you're not allowed to use one. So what you want to do is take your two functions and set them equal to each other. So 12 minus x squared equals x squared minus 6. And then what you're going to want to do is solve for x, and these uh, values you get are going to be your upper and lower bounds. So let's minus, so let's add x squared to both sides. That's going to get rid of this uh, minus x squared. So we'll have 12 equals, so x squared plus x squared is 2x squared, and then minus 6. And then let's add 6 to both sides. So 18 is equal to 2x squared, and then we can divide by 2. So we're going to get 9 equals x squared. And then we can square root both sides to get rid of the squared. And then when you square root like this, you it's going to become plus or minus. So it's going to be plus or minus uh, the square root of 9 equals x. And so the square root of 9 is 3. So it's going to be minus 3 and plus 3. So those are going to be our two values and basically our lower bound and upper bound of the integral we're going to use. So keep that in mind when solving. So we have the integral from minus 3 to 3. And then what you're going to want to do is uh, write uh, the curve that's on top during your interval. So in this case, it's the red one right here, right? And the red curve is our function 12 minus x squared. So you're going to put that first, so 12 minus x squared. And then you're going to subtract from it your, uh, the one that's below it over the interval. So in, that case, in this case, it's x squared minus 6. So you're going to have your top one, 12 minus x squared minus x squared minus 6. And so let's expand this. So we're going to move the minus to this, and then this is going to make the 6 a plus. So it's going to become minus x squared plus 6. And then we can simplify this even further by combining like terms. So minus x squared minus x squared is minus 2x squared. And then 12 plus 6 is uh, 18. So we will have minus 2x squared plus 18 dx. And so now we got to just solve this integral, and the answer to this integral is going to be the area between these two curves. So let's find the antiderivative of our inside. So the antiderivative of minus 2x squared is uh, minus 2 over 3x cubed, because the x squared goes to x cubed over 3, and then we're multiplying by minus 2. And then the 18, whenever you just have a constant, you just add the variable next to it, so plus 18x. And then we're evaluating it from minus 3 to 3. So we're going to plug in 3, get a value, and then minus whatever minus 3 plugged in is. So let's plug in 3. So I'm going to do it up here. So minus 2 over 3 times 3 cubed plus 18 times 3. So 3 cubed is going to be 27, and then times minus 2 over 3 is going to be minus 2 over 3 times 27 which just becomes minus 54 over 3. And then 18 times 3 is going to be uh, 50, 54. And so what we can do is simplify 54 divided by 3, or minus 54 divided by 3, and that's going to become minus 18. So we have minus 18 plus 54, and that's going to be equal to 36. And so when we plug in 3, we get 36. Then we minus whatever minus 3 plugged in is. So let's go ahead and do that. Minus 2 over 3 times minus 3 cubed uh, plus 18 times minus 3. So minus 3 cubed is going to be minus 27. And then we're multiplying it by minus 2 over 3. That's just going to become 54 over 3. And then minus 3 times 18 is minus 54. We know 54 over 3, just like the last one, goes to 18. So it's going to be 18 minus 54, which is minus 36. So when we plug in minus 3, we get minus 36. So we have 36 minus 
minus 36. So it's going to cancel. It's going to be adding them. So 36 plus 36 is 72. So that's going to be our answer to this problem. So the area between these two curves is going to be 72.